More than 7 million Americans are set to lose unemployment aid next week when federal pandemic benefits end. Congress and President Biden do not plan on extending the extra $300 per week assistance. Uh, per week. Assistance is also set to expire for part-time and freelance workers who are not typically eligible for unemployment. CBS News Treasury reporter Sarah Iwal Weiss joins me now with more. So, Sarah, the Senate unanimously passed the CARES Act in March of 2020 when daily COVID cases first started to jump. Why doesn't there seem to be the same urgency in extending unemployment benefits as we are seeing another surge in cases? Hi, Elaine. Well, while we are seeing a surge in cases and the Delta variant is a huge concern, uh, we are in a very different place uh, from an economic standpoint than we were at this time last year and last spring. Uh, last year, when this passed, uh, we were basically looking at 30 million Americans who were unemployed. That number has dropped dramatically since then. The unemployment rate went from more than 14 percent. It now stands at 5 5.4 percent. But we do have to keep in mind that that is still elevated above pre-pandemic levels. Uh, when the Biden administration, uh, the Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen and the Labor Secretary Marty Walsh wrote a letter to lawmakers recently, they said it was appropriate for the federal programs to end at this time. And they cited the unemployment rate and the numbers of jobs created over the past number of months. Um, but to keep in mind with that, we're basically seeing being a complete change moving forward. Um, you mentioned more than 7 million people are about to lose their benefits. Those will be all benefits. Uh, those are the gig workers. Those are the freelancers. Uh, those people do not traditionally qualify for unemployment benefits. This will be the largest drop-off in unemployment benefits uh, in history, uh, surpassing the Great Recession. Um, and it really lays bare the unemployment system in our country and how it's not reflective of the current jobs landscape and the economy. Um, a number of lawmakers and the Biden administration has called for this program to be overhauled, uh, for the system to be overhauled moving forward. Um, it'll be interesting to see where that goes moving forward as we see benefits disappear. Well, President Biden is calling for states to use their emergency coronavirus funds to give additional unemployment benefits. Is that likely, Sarah? And how might that aid compare to federal aid? Uh, well, the short answer, Elaine, is no, that is extremely unlikely. Uh, what the Biden administration did is they said you could use the $350 billion in state and local aid from the American Rescue Plan uh, to continue these pandemic-related unemployment programs. Um, and I actually reached out to all 50 states to find out if they were planning on doing so. Not one state at this time is planning on doing that. Uh, some of them said these programs are going going to end. Others did leave the door open to some changes. Nevada, for one, did say it was still weighing its options. But at this time, we're seeing those expire uh, this week weekend. Um, and one state actually did tell me, an official in Washington said um, that there's really a problem here uh, with them using this funding at this time, because a lot of funding has already been allocated to other projects. And they also talked about the maintenance fees of continuing this program. So that is a challenge for them moving forward. Uh, to say the least, uh, we should also mention that a number of states all Republican-led states across the country, um, 26 in total uh, states, had already announced they were going to end those programs early. Um, and a number of states were able to do so. Uh, a few of those states, they got caught up in legal battles, which kept those programs going up until now. Um, but we already seen a number of states drop off, and those states, obviously, also not going to move forward and extend them, having already ended them. All right. Uh, finally, Sarah, jobless claims keep dropping, but unemployment numbers are still higher than they were before the pandemic. According to the Department of Labor, 340,000 people filed for first-time unemployment last week, down 14,000 from the week before. How might those numbers be impacted by a loss of federal unemployment benefits? Well, Elaine, the good thing about that number, it is the lowest number of initial jobless claims since the pandemic began. That is a good sign uh, for now. But those are still above pre-pandemic levels. Um, and when I mentioned those states that had 
announced they were ending these unemployment benefits early. The argument they were making was that these benefits are keeping people from going out and finding jobs. Uh, it was leading to workforce shortages. Uh, but we've seen data since then. Um, a recent research paper found that while these states withdrew from these programs, it was not leading to uh, more people finding jobs in those states. Uh, so that was not something that they had seen. Uh, at the same time, this also led to a drop in spending. Keep in mind, with these benefits going out, we've seen billions of dollars being fueled into the economy. When those benefits disappear, that money stops flowing. Um, and this could suggest we could actually see uh, some layoffs and some folks stop hiring moving forward as those benefits dry up nationally. All right, something I know you'll continue to keep your eye on. Sarah Ewell Weiss for us. Sarah, always good to have you. Thank you. Thank you.